Welcome to Ahkam SOS, the show that discusses Islamic duties and practices by his eminence, the Grand Ayatollah Sayyid Sadiq Shirazi. I'm your host, Muslim Shah, and joining me is Sheikh Ma'ash. Salaamu alaikum, Sheikhna. Salaamu alaikum, Rahmatullah. Kaifu alaikum. Alhamdulillah. Sheikhna, we've been talking about sujood, uh, and we were discussing um, what we can do sujood and what we can't do sujood on. And what I wanted to ask you was what happens in the case where a Musali cannot find the correct item to do sujood on? What should he or she do in that situation? Inshallah. A'udhu billah as-sami'a al-alim min ash-shaytan al-rajim Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa sallallahu ala muhammadin wa alihi al-tayibin al-tahirin Allahumma sallallahu If one doesn't have the means of sujood, substance um, or if it's extremely cold um, in a way that he cannot reach and get the turba from that location because it's extremely cold or too dangerous. There are conditions in which he cannot reach to that place where there are turba, for example, or the means of prostrating. Uh, let's say he lives in North Pole, for example. Whatever is the scenario, in this case, if there are no other alternatives, let's say tissue, piece of paper, anything else. If everything um, of what is allowed to prostrate on is not available, then he can perform sujood on his clothes. Okay. But they must be what? Tahir. Either Tahir, of course, yeah. must be pure, number one. Number two, they must be either from cotton or flax fiber. Okay. That's important. From cotton or flax fiber. Otherwise, uh, if it's, let's say, from, from synthetic uh, yes. or other materials, he cannot do the sujood on. So either to do sujood on his clothes, cotton or flax fi fiber, or as a last resort, to pray on his aqiq ring. Okay. That's the aqiq ring. Yes. To pray on it, on the aqiq ring. Mm -hmm. So um, when you lose everything, you have nothing to actually uh, use for the sujood, then you switch back to uh, the clothes with the condition of being cotton or flax fiber or the aqiq ring. Otherwise, um, uh, in this situation, um, you must uh, do the pr you know, perform the prayers. It's wajib. You cannot just abort the prayer and just leave the salat to be qada. No, you must pray it in anyhow. Ahsan Shaykhna. Shana, what about when I have uh, you know, a suitable item to do sujood on and then for, for some reason um, you know, it's, it's not there anymore, it's not available? Uh, for example, if I'm in the park and I'm praying on some tissue and the wind blows the tissue away or uh, what's very common uh, you know, is um, you know, you're praying and then you know, a, a small child will come in and take your turba and, and run off with it. Um, what does one do in that situation? Well, if somebody loses the object in which he must pray on be it uh, turba or wood or anything else which is al he's allowed to pray on and there's nothing nearby let's say there's no tissue or piece of paper that he can pray on he can pull and bring or if it's in his pocket to take out this piece of paper or yes. the tissue and pray on nothing is available in this case the state says that he can pray on his clothes if they are from cotton or flax fiber okay um, but if they're synthetic, other than these two types of uh, clothing and fabrics, then the state says he can pray on uh, and do the sujood on the back of his hand. Okay. So the back of the hand. Yes. That's another option. Or on the aqiq ring, yes. on the aqiq itself, uh, the red uh, aqiq. In this case, um, the salah would be accepted. That's fine. Sheikh, uh, are you actually allowed to do sujood on the nails? Because I've seen some people, they, they put their fingers out on purpose when they're doing sujood. If they don't have a turba, they do it on the nail. Is that, is that okay? This is what has been viral by many you know, people that, um, you know, it's been spread by, between the people that, you know, you pray on your nails. 
But it's actually in the Qutbah books, they say that you have to pray on your back of your hands okay, and not so the nails. Just uh, exactly okay. back of your hands. Mm -hmm. So this is where you pray. But it's okay. been known that you know, by people generally that you so pray. So doesn't really have an Islamic uh, or a, uh, a fiqhi background. No, it's but on the, your back the, of your the back hands. Of the hand does. Exactly, that's oh, okay. that's the one. That's the correct way to pray on. Sheikh, what about in sujood? Uh, is stability a necessity? With regard to stability, again, uh, you have to uh, attain the stability, stationary, motionless in sujood, and of course, s making the sujood on on the soft or loose soil or sand, especially the sand of the sea on the seashore, where your head doesn't really um, stay on the sand and it goes through, through the sand. In this situation, you cannot pray and it's invalid. You have to find somewhere, uh, let's say, a bit uh, hard sand yeah. or firm and you pray on it. So of course, you have to attain stability as well in this situation. And um, also just to add, that if, let's say, the turba sticks on your forehead, or the sand sticks on your forehead, because it was, let's say, was sweaty, and, uh, and that turba or the sand sticks on your forehead, you have to remove it for the next or second uh, sajda. That's important to know. Ahsan. Sheikh, I wanted to ask you that, you know, we were discussing paper, that you can do sujood on paper. What about currency, uh, you know, pounds, dollars, dinar? Um, are we allowed to do uh, sujood on those? The Sayyid says clearly that it is, uh, it should be avoided as obligatory precaution, ihtiyat ujubi, if there is an alternative. So you must make sure that you don't pray on the notes, on bank notes, for example, and uh, you have to get uh, the alternative, which is maybe a piece of paper, plain paper, let's say, or tissue. And especially with the new notes now being printed in, let's say, plastic. UK, yeah. plastic, you cannot pray at all. There's no way you can pray on the plastic. Mm -hmm. When we, you know, we go to the Husseiniya, we take the turbas, we see many different designs and patterns, even names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, names of the Ahlul Bayt. Is this allowed? Considering it is earth, it's, it's like the floor, is, is this not disrespecting them? It is permissible to pray on such turba with the names of the Imams that said Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because you're not, you're not praying on that name, particular name of the Imam or that uh, image or whatever is there you're praying for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so there should be no, no issue with that Ahsan Shaykh, when I was on Ziyara I saw a lot of people doing sujood in a different direction than the Qibla and they weren't even in prayer a lot of people uh, they do sujood towards the shrine uh, or the shrines of the Ahlul Bayt um, and you know sometimes you, we see them they, they, they'll kiss the, kiss the ground, they'll kiss the floor and things like that is this acceptable or not according to Sayyid Salik Shirazi? Performing sujood to other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is haram and forbidden the sujood is only for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala However, if that type of sujood or kissing the, uh, the doorstep of the, the shrine of Ahlul Bayt السلام, for example, that many people do when they first go to the ziyara and uh, they perform that respect to the Imam السلام, if it's just for the purpose of thanksgiving, shukran Allah, they want to do shukr, sujdat shukr, which is also mustahab and good to do so, that's fine if it's for the purpose of uh, thanking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that they gained the ziyara of that infallible Imam alayhi salam. That's no, there's no issue with it. Also, the kissing of the, uh, the shrine itself, it's, they're all mustahab acts. So there's no objection. No, that's fine. Shaykh, we live in a very modern society now where we have uh, genetic engineering and modification of so many plants, animals, food. If we have something, a vegetable, let's say, or a leaf, that was at the beginning we, inedible, we're not allowed to eat it, and we can't eat it, but now it's been modified, and we can eat it now, are we still, can we perform sujood on that? And also vice versa. If there was something like a mint leaf that we can eat, 
but now it's been genetically modified we can't eat that mint leaf anymore we, we can't digest it can we perform sujood on that mint leaf basically the ulama what they say that if the subject changes the mawdu what is the mawdu or the subject of this particular item if if now after it's been changed chemically I'm mean, using the technology, whatever. If the mawdu and subject of this edible was changed to non-edible, then khalas, the hukum changes. Yes. So the hukum changes because the subject is changed. I see. So it depends. If it's changed, if the mint became uh, one of those, let's say, like the grass that we, we can't eat, yeah. khalas. Now the hukum changes. And you, and, and, you, and you can perform exactly sujood on it. Or the, the grass itself, if they actually genetically modify the grass so you can eat it, yes. now you can't pray on You can't pray on it. Exactly, because oh. the hukum follows the subject in the mawdu. Yes. When the mawdu and the subject changes, yes. the hukum and the rule changes as well. Ahsant, ahsant. Exactly. MashaAllah. Thank you very much, Shaykh. And thank you to all our viewers for joining us on Ihkam SOS. Inshallah, you can join us on the next episode as we'll discuss more on the prayer. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.